Hey guys and welcome back to another Timu haul video with me, Ali. Today I've got a mixture of things. I've got some dog related stuff. I've got some more organisers and I've also got a few Halloween bits as well. So we'll dive right in. First up, I've got a couple of items that aren't actually for me. They're for my best friend. Um, she really wanted some of these sandwich um, sealers, I think she called them, um, for her daughter's like sandwiches so that the filling doesn't fall out. So. I got her one, which is just a square shape. It comes apart like so. So you've got the metal part there and then you've got the crimping part there and they just slide inside each other so that when you stamp down, it should seal all the edges. And I also got one that was a Mickey Mouse sort of shape. So she's got options for her daughter. So this one's a Mickey Mouse shape one, exactly the same. You've got the stamp part there, the squeezing part there, and they slide in together to create your sandwiches and to keep the fillings inside. Next up is another gadget for my fridge. Um, so I really like to have like cold water and cold drinks, um, even when it is cold itself outside. Um, as we live in the UK, hot weather is not something we get very often. But I saw this on Timu and it's essentially a jug that sits inside your fridge, which has a dispenser in it so that you can pour juice directly from your fridge. So it comes with all the components. You do have to put it together, but it does come with a little instruction pamphlet. I'm just going to put it together for you now. So first of all, you're going to put the first sealer part, which is this part here and you're gonna pop that on there. You're then going to pop it through the hole that's designed for it here. Place the other sealer on the back of that. And then you're going to just use the screwing sort of nut, all made up plastic, and you're gonna screw that onto the back. Okay, it does say to tighten really hardly, so I probably need to squeeze that a bit, bit more, but I just want to show you how, what it looks like. So it's got the dispenser here with a little cap so you can turn it on and off. And obviously you put your juice inside there and place the lid on top. And then it just sits on the shelf in your fridge. When you open the fridge, pour out some juice or whatever you want to put in it, close off the tap and leave it in the fridge. So this one is designed specifically for the fridge. Um, that's why it's not as tall. You can get the ones that like water cooler ones that you can have. Um, I've seen them in like the summer sections of a lot of stores, but I like the fact that this one was slightly shorter so it would sit on the shelf nicely and not take up too much space. So hopefully you will get some good use out of this. Still on storage. I mentioned in my last video that I'm trying to get some storage boxes now for my husband because he saw what I'd done with my clothing and quite liked the way that I've been able to organize things and make it more visible. So I did go back and get him one of the larger size boxes. So I've just got him one because I'm waiting to find out which ones he likes and doesn't like and which ones he'd like more of. But this one is a slightly larger one, same sort of style as the smaller ones, but he can put his t-shirts, shorts, etc. in here. So I bought him one of those. Moving on, I've bought some fairy lights for my outside. So I know there's a lot of lights for your garden that are solar panelled, um, but I just find that, especially in the UK in the winter, we don't get a lot of sun to be able to make them last all the time. We do have a electric source out in the garden, so I actually decided to buy some outdoor lights that were plug-ins. So these came in several sizes in like terms of length of the actual light itself. It comes with a UK adapter. So this is the plug that is on this particular set. It, they do send you with a spare light bulb as well. And essentially they're like the kind of lighting you see in event gazebos. So they come as such. You can also, if you wanted to, um, just buy extra sets of these and make them longer because they've got the adapters on the bottom where you unscrew this and you then can connect it to another set to make them as long as you want. But I just wanted these so that I could turn these on in the evening and always have some lights outside of my garden. Um, some of the solar powered garden lights that I've bought in previous hauls, they do work. Um, but obviously if I don't get enough sun in the day, unfortunately there's not enough light and I really want to light up the back of our garden especially so that I can see what the dog's doing at night time as well. So 
they're them. I'm really hoping they work because I'm really looking forward to seeing all the twinkly lights. Speaking of lights, um, this actually popped up in an ad for me on Timu. And I must admit, I am a little bit disappointed because the size that it looked like it was in the image um, was a lot bigger than this. Not like massive, but just maybe about twice the size of this. But this is just like a cute little light up flower that I might put into my sewing room. Lights it like that. You probably do need to spread out all these bits because they've been a bit squished in the packaging just so that they can send it in a smaller package, which I don't mind. They're all bendy because it's that wire stuff. So you can arrange them as you want to, spread them out, but then you can pop them in between some non-light up flowers. And I just thought that would add to it, but I did expect it to be about that high. So a little bit higher and obviously have the flowers come to more down to about here. But it's still a cute piece and I think I only paid like £2 for it. So it is what it is. But just be careful with sizes sometimes because this can happen. But it's still a cute little piece and I'm looking forward to using it in my sewing room. On the note of sewing, um, I've started to run out of pins uh, for pinning all my dresses and stuff. Because when I use them over and over again, they get bent and they go all cockeyed. And sometimes the little balls on the end of them come off when you've used them for a long time. So I got two different types. Um, I got these simple ones in this like turquoise colour um, just because I like the colour and they were nice and simple. So they're a little bit smaller. They're stainless steel and they're dressmaker pins. So there's those. I think there's like a hundred in a packet or something like that. But then I also saw these. Now these are slightly longer. They're still pins, but sometimes I find the longer ones are easier to use depending on what you're doing. So these ones came in a little plastic case as well, but it's got a little hook on the side so that you can keep it shut. And these are some really adorable pastel teeny weeny butterfly pins. Um, I used to have some longer pins like this before, but literally all of them have fallen apart over the years. Um, so I've got myself a pack of these. They come with a yellow, a pink, a blue. I think there's a purple one in here. Yeah, there you go. So there your colours. I thought these were really adorable and they're also practical. But who said that practical things can't be cute? So yeah, so I've got myself some pins. Um, I actually think the quality is pretty good. Some of these sewing things can get really expensive. So I am going to keep an eye on Timu for other craft stuff going forward. But I'm really happy with these. On a crafty note, um, no idea what I'm going to use these for, but they were like 58 pence and they were really cute. And yeah, so these are little paw print uh, vinyls. So you could put these on glasses, things like that. Um, and I just thought it would be a really cute way to be able to personalise some gifts or maybe personalise some things I've got around the house. If I wanted to make myself my own little doggy glass or doggy mug. Um, but yeah, I thought they were a nice little thing that I could have in my craft box just on the occasion that might come around that I might need to use them. Really, it's just because they had paw prints on. Speaking of dogs, in a previous video, I got a seatbelt cover and some little like things that go in your cup holder that had this like multicolored um, paw print stuff on for my car. Well, I went back on and it turned out that they also had seat covers as well for your car in the same print. My husband is probably gonna kill me, but I don't care. So this is for your back seat, um, just to protect it. It's got like a bobble effect on the back. So it's grippy. It's a really good thickness. It has got little tags on it here so that you can attach it to the seat belt area or onto the back of the seats or tuck them behind. Um, and yeah, it's also got these little flaps at the front that will fold over the seat and they've got little pockets inside of them. So it's also got a bit of storage there as well. And I just thought it was a great way to protect the back seat from the dog, especially as we go into muddier seasons. So I got that, but not only did I get that, for the back seat as well, because I figured might as well theme it all around the dog. Um, they also did um, footwell pads. Don't know what else you'd call them. So I got two of them for the back footwell, again, with the same sort of print same backing as well got that grippy back 
And as I said, I've got two of those, so one for each side. And my husband might not necessarily enjoy it, but uh, I'm definitely looking forward to this. I love the fact that I'm getting like a doggy car kind of thing going off. We'll stick on the dog theme. So this is not for a dog or anything like that. This is definitely for me. Um, it's one of the t-shirts off of that website. So I will say like stuff like just t-shirts and basics like that, Timu is okay for. I still would say that there's more option on Shein, but, and Shein does have things like this, but um, this particular one I thought was really cute and adorable. Um, it says, rocking the dog mum and auntie life. So I have recently become an auntie to a little boy called Freddy. That's my um, stepsister's kid. And then I am also a godmother as well. And my godchild also refers to me as auntie. I'm also auntie to a lot of other doggos as well because it's family members with dogs all over and I'm always like, oh, Auntie Ali. Yeah, I'm a sad person, it's fine. Anyway, so I got this t-shirt because I thought that was explains exactly what stage of my life I'm in right now. And yeah, I got it in this nice gray. They had it in other colors. Um, I got it in a larger size because I prefer like the baggier fit. It just makes me feel more comfortable. But I'm really looking forward to wearing that soon. Okay, before we move into sort of more Halloween stuff, I've got two more items. One of them will get utilised at Halloween, but it's not necessary for Halloween. The first thing I got was underneath where my sewing machines are, I really wanted to put like some kind of like rug down so it was nice and soft on my feet. And it was nice on the pedal as well when I'm using the pedal for my sewing machine. And with the project that I'm sort of occasionally doing in my sewing room, it's not a priority. It's a, when I get a spare moment um, with the mural and stuff. I found this stunning pastel coloured little rug, really. It's, it's a thin rug in the sense of it's narrow, but it's a decent thickness. It again has got these like bobbly bits on the back of it, so it's grippy. It is super, super, super soft. I'll just fold it in half for reference. So that's the half size of it. And I just absolutely love the colours. And these are the kind of colours that I'm going to be using on my wall to create the background for that mural. And I was just, yeah, I just like the fact that it's really soft because that room is hard floor. So it's nice to have something soft on my feet when I'm doing my sewing. To the item that is not Halloween related, but will be utilised for Halloween. Um, there's a lot of bubble wrap over this because this is metal. And I assume that's to stop it from breaking or scratching other products while it's on its way to me. So these came as both individual or you can buy them as a set of two. I bought them as a set of two because I've got two spaces that I want to utilise them in. These are just for your hanging baskets, but I really, really loved this like twirly vine design on these actual ones because to me they kind of felt like they could be a little bit creepy and Halloween-y depending on how you dress it. So I do want to, in the summer, have more like hanging baskets out the front, but I also thought these would be great to be able to hang some Halloween decorations off as well. So I got them in the pack of two. That's the other one there. They're really, really good quality. The metal is no different from what you'd pick up for any of the hardware stores or garden centres in the UK. And like I said, I haven't really seen many that have got this sort of design to it. And so I really enjoyed it. So I've picked myself up a couple of those in the black. So hopefully we can get those up before October. Okay, so I keep talking about my window displays. And last year was my first year in this house. And so I used a lot of like stacking of books and covering with fabric to create different heights in the window to stack things on. And I really wanted like a more sustainable alternative for that. Um, and so I was like, I'll go on team if they've got any like little stands or anything. And I found these perfect black little plastic stands. They came in various sizes. I did get quite a large set because I have quite a few windows, but they are various sizes. So there's a larger one there, next size down, and then a little small one there. You can stack them as well, just as I've done here. So if you wanted to get more height. Um, and like I said, I got quite a large set of these. They all came in like little sets of three. So I've got like the same amount of the big ones as I do for the next size and the next size down. But I just thought because they're narrow, they're perfect for a windowsill. 
and I'm hoping to use these to give some more height and definition to some of the things that I've like bought from TK Maxx and other various stores to display in the window. I might even use them on the shelving behind me, like on the fireplace, or I've got like Welsh dressers and shelves around the house. I think these are a really great, great product for a lot of reasons. Obviously, I'm going to be using them for Halloween, um, but they did have them in clear as well, if you didn't want them to be as obvious on your shelves. But they're just a great product for you to be able to add some variation in heights to your shelving or display units. And they were a pretty decent price as well to say how many I've got. I'll just lift up the rest of the packet. There's a load more here. Like I said, I went a little bit overboard. I'd rather have too many than not enough. But I think these are a great way to display some of your items. Or maybe you own something like the Funko Pops or you own collectibles and you need a way to display them or be able to use up the space on a shelf more by adding more depth and definition. Great idea and great way to use these as well. A couple of like lantern lights because I do like my lights. Um, this is actually made of plastic. It's sort of got dent in the process of being shipped to me. But I'm sure if I've got a pen down there, I can probably get that out. Yeah, I can pop that out. So this is a lot smaller than I was anticipating. So I will warn you on that. Um, but again, it takes watch batteries. It flickers. I thought it was a bit creepy. It's like a old fashioned Victorian lantern, but I just thought this was a great little addition. Like I said, I, the more lights I can get up, the better. So that was that one. And then I also got one that was actually Halloween themed. So that one, you could probably use it at Christmas as well because it's nice and like plain in its appearance. Whereas this one, <laughs> they had multiple designs for this one as well. And I picked the guitar playing, guitar playing? The skeleton playing guitar. That makes more sense, Alison. Um, this one doesn't come with batteries, but it takes, I think that's AAA, two AAA batteries. I always do a massive battery haul before Halloween anyway. So it's got a loop on the top, so if you wanted to, you could hang it up, but it also sits perfectly as well. Let's bring it closer so you can see the guitar playing. I said it again, skeleton playing guitar. Words today. So there you go. So that's that one. And final uh, Halloween light thing I got this time. I did get some of these last year and I guess I think I must have gotten from Shein because I didn't know what team he was last year. These are just double A battery powered. You can pick these up in a lot of different shops, but they were on a special offer online when I was on there the other day. They've just got these lovely little maple leaves on the bottom. They're really nice autumnal colours. Like I said, I think I've already got one set, but it didn't stretch very far. And I like to use these on my fireplace in my living room where I sort of have more of an autumnal vibe than a spooky vibe. But these are great and they're good for it. You know, if you've got that kind of colour scheme in your house, you can have these up all year round. But I just think they add a little bit of warmth to that like autumn, autumn time of the year. I do like to do things other than just sewing. I have on occasion for like Hindus and things like that. I've um, done my own t-shirts, just like bought a t-shirt from Primark and then ordered the vinyl iron-ons online. So that's exactly what I've done again Today, I saw that they had some on Timu that were all pumpkin related. I think they had various designs for this, but I particularly liked these. So these are all different pumpkins with different designs on them. They've got like leopard print purple. This one is like a cheetah print. And then I think my favorite one is this multicolored one, which has got like all those pastel watercolors in it. I just thought these were really cute. You could put them on any t-shirt you would like. There is a bit of glitter in there as well. Um, and I think for the pack of three, it was like £3.78. Some oddment number. It wasn't a lot of money anyway. Um, but yeah, really great if you want to customise some of your own items of clothing. Maybe you've got a hoodie or a t-shirt. Like I said, they can be used on anything. And you just use an iron to transfer it. Top tip. If you've got some greaseproof paper, when you're ironing on, so you place the image on the t-shirt that way, um, put the paper over the top 
and then iron on. It's just going to protect your iron a little bit from the melting plastic. So that's a top tip for when you're doing these. I've just found that that's made life a lot easier in the past. Then I got another jewellery item for that event I have been collecting bits and pieces for. Um, it's just a pirate necklace. It's good quality, nice silver, good long chain. And that's going to be perfect for another accessory for that particular event. And finally, last product today from this Timu haul. And it is sort of Halloween related. And it's another t-shirt. And it's another dog related t-shirt. It's in this beautiful burnt orange colour. I absolutely adore the colour of this. I think that's why I like autumn so much. I think autumn colours are really, really beautiful. And they feel very rich and warm. Yeah, just really cosy. So this was a t-shirt that has a dog print on it in the shape of a pumpkin. So all these lovely little dog prints make up this pumpkin shape. And I thought this was a really subtle way for me to continue to wear pumpkins throughout the year, because technically it's a dog top. It just happens to be in the pumpkin shape. But yeah, I really like that. And the quality of the t-shirt's really nice. It's really soft, much like the other one. I did get it in a bigger size because I prefer the baggier fit, but there are multiple sizes on there and there's multiple designs and colors as well in this particular one. That is everything from today's Timu haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully there's been some products in there that maybe interest you or you've been thinking of buying or has maybe given you some ideas and inspiration for your own home. Whatever it is, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.